All right, welcome to the channel, everyone. In this video, yes, we are in the Mustang. So today is the day that I have to decide if I want to trailer this thing up to Maine or do I want to drive it up to Maine. Right now, I'm on my way to an O'Reilly's that does the free check engine light services. I don't know if it's a wheel balance issue or if it's a, what else could it be? A control arm bushing that's bad. Uh, the spring is shot, uh, wheels severely off balance, alignments shot, ball joints, tie rod ends, could be a number of things that would make it wobble like that. So we're gonna investigate the Mustang a little further. From what I was told, just now their engine light reader is not compatible with this vehicle which i just find that hard to believe i feel like this is one of the most common produced vehicles like in america and then i was told that i have to find someone with a snap-on engine light reader to read the code on this thing so that's interesting um i'm hoping it's just an o2 sensor code because it has half an exhaust on it but I would like to know for sure before I attempt to drive it basically 500 miles. So now, I don't know, I'm just trying to find someone with an engine light reader. I'll have to call AutoZone. All the tires look low, so I'm gonna have to fill them all up, but yeah, I'm gonna go fill the tires and see if that helps the little bit of wobble in the front end. All right, this is the tire in question. As you can see, super, flat look at it from this angle pretty much flat here so we'll go ahead and get this up to 30 or whatever 35 psi all right here we are at the shop here's some stuff i haven't seen yet with my own eyes we got some clapped super clapped geo metro this is definitely some ryan bell creation right there aj's camper this is definitely going to be exciting to have for the drift season so yeah, very nice, very nice. But yes, we are here to further investigate the Mustang at the moment. Basically, I'm just going to jack this corner up, shake it, uh, kind of look under there, like what joints have play, all that stuff. I just need to be able to do 70 because I feel like the trip to Maine, if you can't do 70, sus. Like everyone's doing like 80, 90. So if you can't do at least 70, you look suspicious, literally. The thing runs decent, so I'm not super worried about it. Here, this is what I was looking for, actually. Definitely need that. Okay. I'm scared. I don't know if I'm gonna shake this wheel and feel play in every direction. There's the suspension. It's definitely pretty clean under here because the RAV is way worse than that looking and it's two years older. So, I mean, all the joints look good. I don't feel any like bad play here. So maybe it was just the one PSI in the tire was making it feel super off balance. I don't know, but the only way to actually find out is to go take it on the highway and do 70. This might be my last week here for good. Obviously I'll visit for all the big drift events and like fun stuff like that, Friendsgiving, like all the big notable things, but I'm gonna miss all the day to day. That's for damn sure. These cars might have a fuse for the OBD2 port. And if the fuse is bad, no scanner is gonna be able to read the OBD2 port. Digging on Google for this problem. Yeah, let me see if I could figure that out. I don't know, should I cut this? I don't know, I'll deal with that in a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh yeah, that fuse is good, dude, I can see it. <sighs> okay, I'm not really sure what's going on with the fuse situation, but I've read every forum on the issue, I've checked all the fuses, they're all good. I'm thinking maybe that lady at the O'Reilly's was just, I just checked the oil, it's about half a quart down, so I'm gonna go to the auto zone, get a quart of oil, have them try to read the engine light, but first, before I do that, I'm gonna try to take the subs out of the trunk right now because those have to go. Oh my God, this was just only bungee corded. Oh, 
anything about subs. Are these fire? Do these suck? Are these eBay? How the hell do I get these out of here? Oh my god. This is pretty rice. Let's take these out. The PBs, I don't even know what that is. Performance base, is that what that is? Oh man. Now I'm gonna have just sus wires just floating around back here. Okay, that's all out. What's up with this plywood, actually? Why? Oh my god, don't tell me this is like screwed down. Okay, get this out of here. What a waste of weight this is. This is so heavy. We just weight reduced like how heavy is this shite? I don't even know. I feel like we just lost like 40 pounds, maybe. No, maybe like uh, this is pretty heavy, believe it or not. That definitely weighs a lot. So we'll be able to drift better with all this junk out of the trunk. All right, let me just make sure. No, there's no way anything can short circuit back here. Just take this out. All right, I'm going to take it for a little highway test real quick. And then we'll swing by the auto zone, see what they say. But if I can't get the engine light red, whatever, as long as it doesn't shake, then I'm going to run this up to Maine. So we'll see ultimate test right here, highway test. Can I do 70 with no shake? All right, well, apparently there was nothing wrong with it and the AutoZone scanner got it perfectly. So right here, P0174, system two lean, bank two. And then it says secondary P0420, catalyst system efficiency below threshold bank one. So it's trying to tell me that the recommended solution is to replace pcv valve and hose so i'll deal with this at some point but i'm just trying to run it up to maine i in my opinion this is drivable i think i could limp it 500 miles and get this in the garage so yeah i guess it's not it's nothing too serious so the thing runs and drives perfectly fine so now we get to do our little highway test all right here we go a little highway test we're doing 65 it's definitely the shake is very so much less now i still feel a little something though and i don't know it it could be drive shaft bushing maybe i'm not sure if this has one of those because i didn't really look at it but i know some cars that have a two-piece drive shaft have like a carrier bearing in the center and if that's clapped it could kind of feel like this but we're doing 65 it feels doable it definitely feels doable. Let's kick it up to 70 here. Let's see. I mean, we're doing 70. I, I think it's doable. Yeah, this feels pretty good at 70. I mean, like I said, there's definitely a little bit of a shake from somewhere, but it is so much better than before. So I'm thinking the shake was from uh, the tire being flat but now I'm feeling a little bit of a micro shake. Definitely coming from possibly a bushing off balance wheel. So yeah, I, I think it's doable though. We're doing 75. So I think we could totally limp this thing up to Maine. Yes, the Mustang kind of checks out. Should be good to drive. So yeah, peace out. See you guys tomorrow at five.